so in this video we will be seeing how to take the screen sharp from the uh, from C sharp code so first we need to set this set process dpi aware function to make the application aware of the uh, computer dpi so dpi uh, stands for dots per inch it it's gonna tell us the resolution uh, we can also get the mouse dpi so it's like uh, 800 dpi 1000 dpi etc you can uh, get the screen's re resolution as well so we need to call this function i have already imported this uh, it is uh, residing in the user32.dll so we just uh, imported this one and we are calling this and after this point we will get the actual correct resolution that is 1920 1080 uh, in my case so we need to say screen dot now here we can see all screens of zero you can say all screens of zero it will uh, corresponds to the first screens or we can say primary screen dot bounds so this will return the rectangle object rectangle r is equals to this screen bounds and this uh, rectangle and the screen will be in the uh, drawing dot imaging and also drawing and also windows dot forms we need to import these three also runtime dot interrupt services as well so we have this uh, rectangle bounds we can print this r dot uh, width and r dot height so if i go and run this and i will get this actual 19201080 let's go and comment out this one and let's see whether we get we can see we got the incorrect resolution so that's why we need to call this function to make the application aware of the uh, dpi so now we got the correct resolution so now uh, we need to create a new bitmap image b is equals to new bitmap of uh, we need to pass these uh, dimensions r dot width comma r dot height comma pixel format dot and here we need to choose this 32 app rgb so this will create 8 bits each are used for alpha uh, red green and blue so this this should be good to go now we need to fill this bitmap with the screenshot so we can do that first we need to create a graphics object g is equals to uh, graphics dot from image we need to choose the bitmap image and after that what we can do is we can say g dot copy from screen so we need to uh, choose the upper left source and upper left def uh, destination that is this one uh, so how you get this one using this uh, r dot width and r dot height so r dot width comma r dot height and we can say 0 comma 0 and the block region size so we can say r dot size so this will give you uh, you can print r dot size as well this will give you in like uh, uh, dictionary format so here you can see uh, width and height so we are going to fill uh, this bitmap uh, by these graphics that are from the starting to the actual size that is 19201080 now we can save this bitmap b dot save we can choose uh, we can say let's say temp.jpg and we need to specify the image format image format dot uh, jpeg so 
so let's go and build this one and let's run this so we got the black screen we did somewhere wrong so i have found the mistake it's not a uh, width and height it's actual the r dot left so r dot right sorry r dot top i guess so now we should get because uh, left to uh, left to top to the size so sorry for that mm -hmm. now we need to run this one and here we can see the screenshot so this uh, is the code to take the screenshot uh, what we can do is we can uh, add this code to our uh, c2 so i have already done this uh, i'm just gonna show you So let's uh, run this server and here we are sending the command get screenshot the client uh, that is our uh, C sharp uh, client after uh, checking the command is equals to get screenshot then it go it goes and call the get screenshot function which is uh, just uh, taking the screenshot but here what we have done is we have used this image converter to convert the bitmap into the image bytes so we can uh, do that as well here so instead of just saving we can say image converter ic is equals to new image converter of and ic dot uh, convert to so first we need to select the object that is a uh, bitmap and second one is the destination type that is type of uh, byte stream so this will return uh, let's say image bytes is equals to uh, we need to type convert this image bytes so we can uh, go ahead and save this okay file dot write all bytes so we can now copy this one and change this temp to temp1 so that there will be some difference you can also check the uh, timestamp as well uh, then image bytes so instead of saving into the file what we can do is we can convert this to byte array and now we are saving just to confirm whether we can uh, whether the whether those uh, byte array is valid or not so there is a temp1.jpg and you can see the current timestamp so we can successfully convert this bitmap into uh, byte array so now uh, what I have done is I have modified something that is uh, I have converted this into the base 64 encoding string so this byte array to base 64 encoding string so I can easily uh, transfer this to this uh, our, our server so after that I have I am decoding this here and then adding some timestamp so this is the timestamp it gets the current time and then I am appending uh, prepending the IP address so the file name will be like IP address uh, hyphen the timestamp dot jpg then it says screenshot captured so let's go and run this and agents
so in the root uh, we have i have already took uh, these pictures before let's delete them and in this agents we have this misc so get screenshot whenever you run this click on the button you should see a new picture that is from 192 160 0 100 and uh, and uh, this timestamp is year um month and the date and then the uh, let's let me see this i think it's hours minutes seconds uh let me just confirm this yes hours minutes seconds so it's uh 3 24 43 seconds so in this way each image can be identified uniquely from which machine uh, you got the screenshot from so that's all for this video in this video we have seen how to take the screenshot from the c sharp code and then we have converted that to uh, byte array and then we have converted that byte array to base 64 string so we can easily transmit over uh, the socket and then we decode it to the image